I wasn't actually sure if there was a way to revive the Ultra Boost after a year's worth of wear, as you can see. Unfortunately, you can't replace the soles, but you can whiten up this boost material so it looks almost brand new. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in this video. What's going on guys? This is Hess from CollectiveKicks.com and I wanted to bring you guys a video today. Show you guys me kind of restoring this Ultra Boost that I previously did a video on. I showed you guys a video recently of this Ultra Boost after a year's worth of wear. If you guys missed that video, go check it out on my channel. A lot of you guys in that video mentioned that I should go ahead and try this product here on the Boost material to give it a better look. So thank you to you guys that left a comment saying to try this out. It is the oil-based Sharpie and I will link this in the description if you guys wanna buy one of these pens. But I'll show you guys what it does to this Boost material and how you can go from this to this in a very, very simple step. But before I apply this marker to the Ultra Boost, I need to go ahead and clean up this Ultra Boost with Rejuvenator like I did the previous one to get it as clean as possible before we go ahead and apply that oil base. One thing that I will note, you guys called me out on this in the comment section also previously, and that is you should not be using the medium bristle brush on the upper. You should be using something like this this is a premium soft bristle and it's basically used for suede and mesh and delicate materials. And this is what happens when you don't use that brush. It basically ripped apart the seam right here on the Ultra Boost when I was scrubbing too hard. So that was my mistake. I definitely advise that you guys buy separate brushes on Rejuvenator's website. And if you guys want to buy the cleaner or the bristles or anything else on the website, use code HESKIX and you get 10% off of your entire order. And I will link Rejuvenator's website in the description below and you guys can go shop around all of their sneaker products. So that being said, let's go ahead and clean this guy up before we apply the pen. All right, so now that that is mostly done, you can see it worked pretty good, but there is definitely some yellowing on the back section and it's all brown back here still. So it is definitely a huge improvement, but it's definitely not white. So I'm gonna use that Sharpie to clean that up a little bit. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and use the shoe and foot deodorizer, same as I did on the other one. So it smells pretty good actually, if you've never used it. Super simple, but definitely nice to be able to deodorize old sneakers like these. So let's go ahead and get into the fun part. This is the Sharpie. It is a white oil based um, paint marker. You basically take the tip and you dab it down like this and then eventually the white stuff will start pouring out the top. It does say to shake this thing well before you start applying it. So you gotta shake it up. So now that it's all shaken up, you can go ahead and try to apply it to the shoe. And I'm just gonna rub it along the boost like this. If you do get a little bit of extra stuff outside of the lines, you can use some nail polish remover. So there you have it. This is pretty much the final results of the Ultra Boost. You can see that the Boost material is definitely white comparison to that on the bottom. And so that's a big plus. I was thinking you could apply it to the bottom if you wanted to, but honestly, it'd be more of a pain in the ass to do it. So it's probably not worth doing it, especially since you walk on the bottoms of the shoes. So you can see up close, I did a pretty sloppy job painting it, but all in all, it looks pretty good and it looks pretty revived and almost like a regular Ultra Boost does. You can see that the widened Ultra Boost looks pretty spot on comparison to the retail below and just with that little pen. So this pen is pretty magical. Again, I'll link it in the description. I think it was like six bucks. It is a Sharpie white oil-based pen. The results are pretty impressive. I'm actually really impressed what this thing was able to do to this old beater pair of Ultra Boost. Now it looks pretty decent. It looks almost like a new pair considering how much wear and tear was on these. So hopefully my buddy Jamal will like these. I did, however, still buy him a new pair of Ultra Boost. I actually ended up getting him a pair of these in his size. So hopefully he enjoys the new Ultra Boost, as well as the ones that I ended up cleaning up for him. Again, if you guys are interested in using any of Rejuvenator's products, such as the cleaner or the deodorizer or the brushes, uh, go ahead and check the link in the description, 10% off of your order. But thank you guys 
for watching and I appreciate you guys for checking out the video. I think that this is a really cool suggestion from you guys that mentioned it to use this pen. So much appreciated to you guys. And that's the end of the video. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Thank you again for watching. Peace guys.